Hello there. Look at what we're cooking up today. Taco stuffed zucchini boats. Oh my goodness, is my kitchen smelling amazing. All right, so I'm so happy you're here. So welcome. Welcome to Debbie's Healthy Kitchen. I'm Debbie Cuevas and I'm a certified health coach and I help people just like you make major improvements in their health and wellness. So welcome. I am so happy you're here today. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started. And so, uh, first of all, just so you know, I will be posting the complete recipe in the comments below once I'm done. And uh, so you'll have all of the complete directions and the breakdown of the ingredients. But I'll go cover the ingredients real quick for you. What you're gonna need for this recipe is some ground turkey, as well as um, <laughs> some low-fat shredded cheddar cheese, some Rotel canned tomatoes, some uh, olive oil, some salt, some cumin, also some minced garlic, chili powder, some oregano, onion powder, paprika, and chili powder, as well as your zucchini. All right, so I think I covered it all. So the first thing is you're gonna take your zucchini, and, and like I said, now's the perfect time. I was gifted uh, a couple of really nice zucchinis, so um, I wanna put those to good use. So you're gonna take that zucchini and cut it in half lengthwise, all right? Then you're just going to scoop out all of the seeds and you wanna go down to the bottom, but you have to be very careful that you don't cut through or scoop through the sides. So I'm just gonna show you, hopefully you can see, uh, you can use a spoon, I'm gonna use this little scoop, works pretty good. So I'm just going to scoop it out just like that. Okay, and like I said, just gotta be a little careful, but um, you just wanna basically get some of the meat out along with those seeds. And this is pretty easy to do. All right, I did get a little bit of a nick there, you can see. And so um, that isn't gonna hurt because it's not all the way down to the bottom, but we're going to be putting our meat ingredients inside this so you want it to be pretty firm and able to hold everything so just cut out a little bit more here all right so that's what it looks like okay then with with the innards <laughs> you're gonna take that and just chop it into little pieces nothing fancy just chop it up All right, the next step is you're gonna take a fry pan with your olive oil and you're going to put this um, zucchini innards <laughs> into that fry pan along with your minced garlic and you're just going to cook it on low heat until it's tender and it's just really like a minute or two. And so to save time, I've already cooked some of this ahead of time. Um, so I just am explaining how to put it all together and how to make it. All right, so you've got your zucchini and your minced garlic frying in a fry pan with your olive oil till it's tender. The next step would be to add in your ground turkey. Now for this recipe today, I didn't have any ground turkey, believe it or not, I ran out, and that is a staple in this home. So I will be running to Costco uh, a little bit later to uh, get some more ground turkey. But I did have some shredded chicken, and so I'm using shredded chicken. And what's really great about this recipe, so it calls for ground turkey, but you could use ground chicken, you can use shredded chicken, you can use ground beef, whatever your favorite protein is you can use in this recipe. So you just add in that meat to that zucchini uh, mixture with the garlic, or yeah, with the garlic, and just put your beef in there and then just cook that 
until your meat is browned. Then add in all of your seasonings and your tomatoes and part of your cheese. And this is what you get. All right. So remember, I already cooked this ahead of time. Oh my goodness, doesn't this look yummy? Oh my gosh, my husband came in the kitchen and says, what are you cooking? That smells delicious. All right, well it is. Can't wait for dinner. So, so back to your zucchini boats, all right? You're just going to put those in a casserole dish. So I've got mine all ready to go, see? And we're just going to take that meat mixture and fill up our boats. Pretty cinchy, wouldn't you say? Well, so far. So I'm just going to take that scoop again, just to make it easy. And just fill up my little boats here. And uh, you're just going to fill them up till it's full. So actually, it's just, you're just gonna spread out the mixture evenly into all of those boats, okay? So you can add a little bit more if you have a little bit more mixture. All right. And I'm kind of a messy little person here, so <laughs> I am making a mess. But, oh my goodness, it does smell good. All right, and so this is gonna go in um, a 325 degree oven, and you're going to bake it in the oven. I just wanna check my time. I don't know, today my brain's, not 325, 375, I knew it. <laughs> so a little summer brain going on. Anyways. You're gonna bake this at 375 degrees for 20 minutes. So once you have your boats full, you'll pop it into that oven, bake for 20 minutes, and then you're gonna sprinkle on the additional uh, cheese that you have left right on top, pop it back in the oven for another 10 minutes, and then it's gonna be done. And so I will show you, well, I already showed you, but this is what it looks like. And so I'm so excited to have a little taste here. All right, so let's go for it. I better make it a small bite because um, I'm usually not done talking and I have a mouthful. <laughs> but um, anyways, here goes. Oh. Mm. I am pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised, because it is good. I thought maybe with the zucchini, it might be a little tough, uh, but baking it like that makes it so tender and you can't even taste that it's zucchini. Oh my gosh. So, you, mean, you might love zucchini, but it's wonderful. And so guys, you gotta make this. This is good. This definitely replaces a regular taco shell or tortilla for sure. So much better, so much tastier, so much healthier. You're gonna love it. So I would love to hear if you make this. I would love to get some feedback from you. If you're watching this live, would you please uh, just type in live? If you're catching the replay, would you just put in replay? I always love to know how many people I'm reaching during the day or if you're just catching the replay. And either one is fine. I'm just glad you're watching because I love sharing these healthy recipes with all of you. So make sure you give me some thumbs up or give me the little heart. You can even share this recipe to your page so you will have it for the future. And if you can't find it for whatever reason, just send me a little message. I'd be happy to share this recipe with you. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a very happy and safe 4th of July this weekend and enjoy. So let's go eat. Bye-bye.